This video is targeted to people who are using a tabless mooting filter, a higher refresh rate monitor, more than 60 hertz with tablet latency. The latency is crazy with smoothing filter. Your drivers are not helping with the situation. Enjoy the video. Now, before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I use smoothing filter, which is basically the only reason why I'm making this video. If you don't have smoothing filter on, then that means this video isn't for you. This is basically the cause of smoothing filter not working for some reason with these drivers. Otherwise, you can click on the link description below or the timestamp down below to the actual fix of this issue. So you know those times when you're playing also in the middle of the night and then you suddenly feel sleepy and tired but not before you have to update your outdated version of Windows to the latest first and the next thing you know it you wake up from bed to play also and then your tablet driver isn't suddenly working with smoothing filter on. Windows messed up on the Devo and Haku drivers, at least what this guy says on Reddit. Here's a comparison before I updated my Windows and then after I updated my Windows. Now, I know it's hard to notice the difference because both of them are running at 144 Hz, just resampled, but there is a difference. One is running at 144 Hz completely without any lag or latency on the drivers itself, and the other one has latency and it has a little bit of frame lag, I guess to say. Now, why is this important? As you can see in the background, I have been performing what I would be performing at my best. However, if I were to switch to Haku 0.2.3 or Devil Club's 1.5.5 drivers, I would be performing way worse as shown in this clip. So, what's the alternative for Haku drivers and Devo Cubs drivers? Well, I managed to find one uh, from this Reddit post that I mentioned early in the video. The guy who managed to replace the Windows API timer call with a proper one which loop checks the pen's movement when the smoothing filter is on, which might have been the culprit of this issue. However, when I start using it, generally used up 10% of my CPU. Thankfully, this fix doesn't impact OSU's performance when using it for a couple of days. But I found a better solution. I managed to figure out my fix after days of figuring out why my issue was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Open Tablet Driver. In the description down below, there is a link to install the driver. It will take you to an installation guide where you can choose what platform you are on. I obviously choose Windows because I'm running Windows. Here's a video of me showcasing it basically. Welcome to my desktop guys. So this is where I'm going to be showing you the open tablet driver thingamajig it here. So, and that little menu you just saw up there was basically uh, the tablet itself updating if it does need, apps, if it does need updating the driver itself. And I'm using my CTL-471 as a showcase to showcase this driver because I have mine inverted. So if your tablet's inverted, you can just do the rotation as 180 degrees. And if you want filters like I do, like the smoothing filter or the noise reduction filter, you can just click on plugins and then simply choose your favorite filters. I obviously have... Um, this filter and the Haku filters because, because I know how to use the um, Haku filters now and this is just an extra one for uh, noise reduction. And right here you can bind your tip bindings or your key bindings from your pen and here's a console for it to figure out what tablet you are using to recognize it. And this is where you actually want to enable your smoothing filter and all that stuff. So the reason why I'm making this video is because the smoothing filter didn't want to work on like the other driver like down here, the Denvo Club drivers. That's right next to my Osu icon. So I'm using the Haku driver filter plugin thingamajigit 
and then I set mine to the regular settings that I did with the uh, Haku drivers and it worked out fairly well actually. I wasn't expecting it to work that easily. Normally I have this at 10 but I sh put it at 20 to test it out if it was working and it worked out pretty simple. So that's how you would use the tablet itself. I also have a tri-monitor setup. Uh, this one is occupying with my Elgato for dual streaming and all that stuff. So if you're interested in watching my streams, the link of this is in the description down below. And uh, yeah, this is basically the open tablet driver itself. So for those who stuck around and, you know, is watching the end of this video now, uh, I really do appreciate all of you, you know, watching to the end of this video. I wanted to share my story to what was happening in terms of my tablet drivers. I really thought I wasn't going to be able to fix it because I didn't want the 10% CPU always eating at my performance and all that stuff. Because I'm a very CPU, uh, I guess, OCD person, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, you know, give a like to this video and share it with your friends or those who are, you know, having this trouble or issue like I did a few days ago. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'll be streaming more on Twitch. I stream almost daily uh, at 5 and all that stuff. Um, I'm actually recording this uh, on my Twitch schedule and I forgot to actually uh, live stream today. So that's a big fat rip for me, actually. And uh, yeah, enjoy this video, and uh, here's the gameplay of me using the tablet drivers. What? That was such a bad run and I still got first. That was such a bad run. <laughs>